All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 40. Our question is, what is the deepest muscle of the abdominal group? Is it going to be A, external oblique, B, internal oblique, C, transverse, or D, rectus? One more time. What is the deepest muscle of the abdominal group? External oblique, internal oblique, transverse, or rectus? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you, what is the deepest muscle of the abdominal group? And we had a great turnout here. We had 46 votes. 4% of you said it was gonna be the external oblique. 70% of you said it was gonna be the internal oblique. 13% of you said it was gonna be the transverse abdominal muscle. And then 13% of you said it was going to be the rectus abdominal muscle. And then thank you to the eight people who liked this post. So a majority of you went with the internal oblique as the deepest muscle of the abdominal group. So let's see if this is the correct answer. So we're gonna start with the abdominal muscles looking from the superficial to the deep. And the very first one that we have here is our rectus abdominis. And so we can see this because this is the one that we're the most familiar with, which is our six pack muscle. And then we can see here off to the side, the obliques are the external obliques, which kind of interdigitate with this serratus anterior. And so these are external obliques. And so we have the rectus abdominis and we have the external obliques, which are gonna be the most superficial. Now, it's important to mention that on top of the rectus abdominis, abdominis muscle, we have what's known as the rectus sheath. And this is a fibrous sheath that surrounds the rectus abdominis muscle. And the rectus sheath plays an important role in providing support and protection to the rectus abdominal muscles and the abdominal organs and just serves as an attachment site for the abdominal muscles and fascia. And so this is important to mention this white connective tissue that lays on top of the rectus abdominis. And so here you can see the red flesh of the external obliques, but just bear in mind that the rectus abdominis is also underneath this rectus sheath. And so just bear that in mind. Now, since we know that the rectus abdominis and the external obliques are the most superficial, we can go ahead and get rid of those two answers. And so that leaves us with either the internal obliques or the transverse abdominal muscle. And so now we have a 50-50% chance of getting this answer correct. And so let's go ahead and check these muscles out. Now the internal obliques is going to be right underneath the external obliques. And this is going to run, these muscle fibers are going to run perpendicular to the external obliques. Because if you remember, the external obliques went like this. And so now we have the internal obliques, which are running in the opposite direction, running towards the midline of the body. And so the internal obliques are going to be right underneath the external obliques. Now, right underneath the internal obliques, we are going to have the transverse abdominal muscle, which is going to be the deepest and most innermost abdominal muscle. And it's going to run its muscle fibers horizontally across the abdomen. And so the correct answer here is going to be the transverse abdominal. This is going to be our deepest muscle of the abdominal group muscles. And so I would encourage you to make sure you understand this information. And so 13% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page where I dive much deeper into this content. I just recently started a series where I'm going to go over each of the major muscles and I'm going to paint these on the body. And so I would encourage you to join us for the journey of that. It's going to be really awesome. And I'm going to just give you a bunch of information information and teach you the origins and insertions and actions of all the major muscles and just make sure that you are well prepared for the emblex. And so I hope that this is helpful. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.